Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken and today guys, look, I don't want to waste too much of your time, but I just wanted to make a little video just kind of praising Lionsgate. I know I talk about Lionsgate a lot on this channel. I praise them a lot on this channel for a variety of things. Um, but I don't know, just recently I really feel like they've been on top of their game and they've just been taking care um, of us physical media collectors for a very long time uh, when it comes to their price points, when it comes to quality, um, you know, when it comes to like special collectors editions, like they've really been killing it and I wanted to highlight that here today, but I also wanted to highlight just how thankful we should be uh, for Lionsgate and what they are doing for collectors. And then I also want to talk about like why cannot uh, can other studios uh, not do the same like at least as far as their pricing or as far as their packaging or as far as their special features like why are we not getting the same level of not only uh, affordability but also quality. Uh, I think as well is, is another big one with Lionsgate. So I want to call out some of the other studios uh, in this video and just be like, look, Lionsgate is really making you guys look bad. They really are. And look, we're going we're gonna to be honest here today. We're going to be open and honest. But before we get into it, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We talk about physical media. We talk about Blu-rays, 4Ks, owning the movies that you love, all that kind of stuff. So if you like that kind of stuff, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button. Also, be sure to hit that like button and then leave me a comment down below, guys. You know, what do you think about Lionsgate? Are you a, are you a fan of Lionsgate, uh, the studio, their movies, their their 4K and Blu-ray releases? Let me know in that uh, in that comment section below. And then, you know, turn on the bell notifications for all future videos. So look, I've, I've gotten a few things in recently from Lionsgate to review and talk about. So I'm also going to use this video to talk about those releases uh, here as well. So yeah, like all my videos, guys, this is going to be all over the place. Just a bunch of ramblings uh, here today. But look, I just reviewed this Highlander release. This is the first thing that I'm going to highlight. This Highlander release great quality you also got new special features a bunch of new special features um, in this release and we'll get to the price here in a second guys not only that you also get a digital code and you get like art cards in here again i just reviewed this i just talked about this so i'm kind of you know retreading over stuff i just talked about recently you get art cards like you get this kind of stuff in aero video releases uh for 35 40 bucks and you're getting it here. You also get two discs. You also get two discs. You get a Blu-ray and you get a 4K and you don't get that with every other studio as well. But the real kicker is, is that the, first off, when they first announced this, it was $17.99. That was gonna be the price uh, point that it was being released at, which is already good enough. Like it's already cheap enough. But then right before this came out, this release came out, uh, they lowered it to $12.50. They lowered this release, this Highlander, this new, brand new 4K release was $12.50. And you just don't get that with other studios. Like, uh, and I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus here. I'm really not. Uh, but I'm just using it as an example. But Sony just released Adaptation. I just bought this one for $22.99 uh, is what I bought Adaptation for. And in this release... Okay, it's got a cool slipcover. I like that it's got different artwork on the slipcover than the case. I'll, I'll call it out for that. But in this release, you, you do get a digital code, um, but you only get a 4K. And I'm pretty sure the reason for that is because Shop Factory owns the Blu-ray rights adaptation. I think I heard that. But you only get a 4K and they still charge you. Like my, my thing is, yeah, okay, you couldn't release the Blu-ray, but could you bring the price down a little bit? Maybe, and I think now it's like 18 or 19 bucks, but could you bring it down to maybe 17, 1799, something like that when you release this? I actually, I bought this at 2299 uh, when it first came out because I wanted to make sure I got that slip cover. Um, and you know, on the back, I think that you get, uh, you get behind the scenes in the swamp and you get a theatrical trailer. And I got many examples I could show with us. Let's, let's go, let's jump straight to the boutiques. We could talk about Scream Factory. Uh, we can talk about Scream Factory and their new 4k releases. What about Evil Dead 2013? I just talked about that in one of my controversial, the top 10 controversial releases of, uh, of 2022. Check out that video. Uh, Evil Dead 2013 or any of their 4Ks really, uh, where they just released the 4K and it's like $36.99 for the 4K. Some of them have Blu-rays as well. 
no new special features. They'll recycle the special features. And they sure as hell don't have art cards in the release. Like Arrow Video does that, but, but Screen Factory does not do uh, that kind of stuff. So I just, I really have to commend Lionsgate uh, for this, like dropping this price like this. It, it makes, look, not everybody can go out every single week and, and pick this stuff up brand new. Not everybody can do that. And I'm sure that people look at look at me and they look at some other collectors here on YouTube. And they kind of look at us. They look at other people online showing off their releases. They're like, I wish I could do that. I wish I uh, could afford to do that week to week. Lionsgate is making that possible. They are making uh, you know physical media dreams come true because a lot of people were probably excited for Highlander. They're like, I don't know if I'll be able to get that. Comes out, it's 1250. You can run to the store and you can pick this up. Like it's it's affordable. You don't have to wait for a sale. You can run out, you can grab it with this gorgeous slip cover. And I just think it's super cool. And they've been doing that uh, since the beginning. And let's go back to an era where I, I really couldn't afford uh, to buy this stuff like, like I do now. Like my wife was a stay-at-home mom. I didn't have a, as good of a job as I do now. I uh, didn't make as much money. And I wasn't really collecting a lot of stuff. I was buying a lot of stuff at Goodwills and, and half price books and doing a lot of thrifting and stuff like that to build up my Blu-ray and DVD collection. And the first 4K that I ever felt comfortable buying, because I was not going to Walmart and spending 35, 40, I think that's how much they were back then in 2016 when they first came out. I was not buying a new 4K for 35 or 40 bucks. I was like, 4K what? Like, what's the difference between that and Blu-ray? I'm fine with my Blu-rays um, and even my DVDs at that point. I was still watching a lot of DVDs. Um, and Kick-Ass was the first one that caught my attention. And it was because this was $17.99, brand new on 4K with this gorgeous slip cover. And I was like, I'll, I'll try the whole 4K thing for $17.99. Absolutely, I'll try, I'll dip my toes into 4K. So they made me uh, adopt a new format, Lionsgate. And again, I was you know, getting ready to do this video and I was like, wait a second, Lionsgate was the first 4K ever bought. So I had to bring this over here and talk about it. Um, so Lionsgate is responsible for me getting in the 4K format and that's because they made it so affordable and accessible to do so. So I gotta, again, call them out for that. But all their releases, really like Evil Dead 2, I remember when this came out, this was $17.99. Most of their new 4Ks that they put out um, are $17.99, which is just, unless it's a new movie, like I think Spiral came out like uh, $22 or something like that. If it's a new release movie that just came out in theaters, that'll usually be um, a little bit more. But yeah, I just, again, have to talk about Lionsgate and this I just, we, we got to gush about it. We have to be, um, you know, we have to bring attention to this. We have to be thankful. We have to praise Lionsgate for doing this for us. Like they're really doing the Lord's work. Uh, here today. Now let's talk about Vestron Video, uh, which is uh, owned by Lionsgate. Like Lionsgate puts out these Vestron Video releases. Um, yes, it's under the Vestron brand, but it is a Lionsgate release. So Vestron put out Silent Night, Deadly Night recently. This was, I think it came out like middle of December. I actually think it came out the same week um, as Highlander on 4K. This is three movies. Three movies, okay? You follow me? Keep this in mind. Three movies, this came out at $11.99. Now, are these movies the best movies in the world? The best horror movies you'll ever see in your life? No, they are not. They're complete trash by all accounts, but it's still really cool. Like, Screen Factory puts out trashy movies. Vinegar Syndrome uh, puts out a lot of trashy movies, and they'll slap a $40 price tag on it, put a pretty slipcover on it, and call it a day. Well, Vestron Video puts out three movies in one set, slaps a pretty slip. Look at that. That's beautiful artwork um, on this release, and they charge you $11.99 to pick this up, and this is not a cheap release. Look on the back right there. Tons of special features on all of these movies uh, right there. And you get Silent Night, Deadly Night 3, Better Watch Out, which I actually watched. It's it's a bad movie, but it's got Bill Mosley in it. And it's entertaining um, enough. Silent Night, Deadly Night 4, The Initiation. Silent Night, Deadly Night 5, The Toy Maker. So I'm definitely going to watch all of these at some point. But then you get inside here. And just look at this, guys. I just have to, I just have to talk about this. You don't... This These are not all crammed on one disc. Like, this is... This is a, they all get their own individual discs uh, for all three of the movies. So, I mean, super cool, $11.99. And you get a digital code uh, with this as well. It's just, it's so ridiculous when you stop, really stop and think about it um, and compare Lionsgate and what they're doing to everybody else. This is a boutique level 
uh, release right here. And it's not stopping here. We're getting ready to get the Dennis two movie collection, two movies um, in a set for $12.99. That comes out on the 24th of this month. We're also getting Belly on 4K, which is another 4K release for $17.99. Like Lionsgate is just absolutely uh, killing it right now. And even when it comes to their new movies that, that were just released in theaters, like I was talking about, uh, these are not 4Ks, they're Blu-rays, but Pearl uh, was released, I think, back in November. This came out, and again, Lionsgate is killing it not only with their Blu-ray 4K releases, um, and we'll talk about the Steelbooks here in a second as well. I know everybody's chomping at the bit to talk about the Steelbooks, um, but their their Blu-ray, they're doing exclusives. Like, they're doing exclusive covers, like Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent had a 4K slipcover exclusive at Walmart. That was amazing. Like, everything, everywhere, all at once. Also, because they own, uh, they or they distribute for uh, 824 had a beautiful uh, slipcover, maybe the best of the year with the googly eyes and stuff on it. So they're doing all kinds of cool stuff, but you got Pearl um, on Blu-ray right here, which I, I really love this movie. This made it into my top 10 um, of 2022. This is a really good movie. Looks great on Blu-ray. The quality, guys, as well, and I don't think I've talked as much about the quality. The quality is definitely there on all of these releases. They usually, like Lionsgate does not scamp with the quality. Like when you watch a Lionsgate 4K, you know, take this one, for example, Reservoir Dogs, which, we're, again, we're not talking about the Steelbooks yet, but just the transfer of Reservoir Dogs, it made it into my top three 4K releases of the year. So transfer-wise, they usually always do stellar work there as well. Usually with Lionsgate, like, it's always quality with their transfers. And this one, now, the Steelbook was $21.99. But the actual standalone 4K for this, it came out, I think it was $15.99 when it released, dropped down to 13 bucks a couple of weeks later. So again, very cheap, very affordable uh, for anybody to get. So Reservoir Dogs was an outstanding release from Lionsgate. Let's talk about Clerks 3. This was a new movie, which Kevin Smith has an excellent opening intro to this where he talks about the importance of physical media and how pretty much the Blu-ray sales of the Jay and Silent Bob reboot, which I also have in my collection, uh, contributed to him being able to make Clerks 3. And he talks about how important physical media is and Blu-ray sales and, and that kind of stuff and owning the movies that you love, which I thought was super cool and awesome. It's just, it's too bad that the actual movie itself wasn't as good um, as Kevin Smith's intro. I, I enjoyed parts of this movie, but overall I found it to be extremely dissatisfying. So I'll give it a real small review for Clerks 3 real quick. And I'm not coming at this from a place uh, of somebody that does not know the View SQ universe, the Kevin Smith movies. I know the Kevin Smith movies. I'm a huge fan uh, of the Kevin Smith movies. I grew up on Clerks. I grew up on Mulrats, Chasing Amy, Dogma, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Those are the movies that I watched the most when I was a kid. So I am a massive fan um, of Kevin Smith and his older comedies. I love Clerks too as well. This one, again, was a massive disappointment for me, and I've got a lot of nostalgia for these movies. I like Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. I actually like that movie quite a bit. It leaned heavily into the nostalgia of all of these other movies, of all of his other films, and I can understand by somebody that's not a fan of all that stuff was probably like, this is awful. Like, I completely understand that. But I did not like this movie at all. I didn't like how it was pretty much just a, an almost like a remake of the first one in a way, only it was them acting like themselves like 30 years ago, but they're 50 now. So it just comes off as, as really sad. I thought all the performances were awful. Nothing was really funny. I don't think I laughed, but maybe one time uh, in the entire movie that I cannot remember what that part was. And the ending, the ending of this movie really pissed me off. And I'm not going to spoil it, but it really, really rubbed me the wrong way and pissed me off. But, you know, I'm glad that Kevin Smith got an opportunity to make this, uh, you know, based on the Blu-ray sales for, for Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. And that was an amazing intro where he talks about, we need people like that. People like in higher positions, um, you know, in the entertainment world, talking about the importance of physical media. So I think that, that was super cool that Kevin Smith uh, did that intro for this. So, and acknowledge that. And it's got, you know, tons of special features right here. So Lionsgate does not skimp on the special features. Now let's talk about the last thing. This is the, the crown jewel of the Lionsgate physical media universe. We got to talk about these Lionsgate uh, 4K steelbooks that they started releasing. Now, Lionsgate's been doing steelbooks for a while now, but I, I can't, I don't know, like, exactly. I don't know how to, ex I feel like it might have been Dirty Dancing, but I don't know 
uh, exactly where this trend of releasing steelbooks with the slipcovers started uh, for Lionsgate. I feel like it was Dirty Dancing back in early 2021, but I could be wrong. They may have done one uh, before that with the slipcover. But these are amazing. Like, who else? Like, people are trying to catch up now. Like, Paramount's trying to catch up and do steelbooks with slipcovers. Who else was doing steelbooks with slipcovers like this that actually incorporate the artwork with the actual art on the steelbook itself? Like, who else was doing work like that before Lionsgate? Nobody that I know of, maybe at least in the U.S., maybe like outside the U.S., but look at this. It's so freaking cool. Uh, with the year we talk about reservoir dogs enough uh this apocalypse now steelbook is amazing this is one and look at it's not just the artwork right here on the slip cover the artwork underneath like that is beautiful look at that and we've got countless examples dozens of examples of these steelbooks now and lionsgate started putting these out at 19.99 think about that for a second think about you know spending 35 dollars on a Marvel steelbook, a, a Disney steelbook, Pixar, whatever, DC movie, 35 bucks, 36 bucks now. I think Black Adam just came out at 36 bucks. And the artwork is super lazy. It's not inspired. It doesn't feel special at all. And Lionsgate comes out and they put out these amazing steelbooks with amazing artwork for affordable prices. And again, I was out collecting steelbooks. I was done. I was like, I am not paying 35 bucks anymore uh, for these movies. Like I'll, I'll just get the slipcovers because to be honest, aesthetically, I like the slipcovers anyway. And then Lionsgate gives you the best of both worlds with, with these amazing steelbooks, with amazing artwork, with slipcovers to boot that just make them feel so much more special. And it's just amazing, guys. It's amazing. Look at this American Psycho steelbook. Again, I helped this one win uh, an award, by the way. I got my got my Oscar back there. Um, but look at this American Psycho steelbook. Like this is this is amazing. I've got so many examples. I want to do a Lionsgate uh, steelbook like collection video at some point, just to gush about all the Lionsgate steelbooks. But it's just so amazing what Lionsgate's doing, and I just wanted to call it out here today and talk about it, but that's all, guys. I'm sorry. I, I hope that you don't feel like you wasted your time watching this video here today, but again, I wanted to you know, make this video and praise Lionsgate, but also call out all the other studios. Like, if Lionsgate can do this and make these 4Ks and Blu-rays and Steelbooks at affordable prices, why can't you guys? Come on, guys. What are you doing? Like, Lionsgate is just killing it for all of us, and you guys are just sitting on your asses, doing nothing, charging us out the ass for these releases and not doing anything special for them. And you know, again, other studios do great work. I'm not saying they don't do great work. We've gotten some great releases from Warner Brothers, Universal, Paramount uh, this year alone. Not saying they don't do great work. I'm just saying in comparison to what Lionsgate's doing and what they're offering us, it just doesn't feel like Lionsgate's skipping on the quality to give us these affordable releases. And I feel like other studios could do more to help us collectors, and they don't. They want to charge us. They want to gouge us out the butt, and I'm tired of it. I'm calling you out. Lionsgate's awesome. Look, I appreciate you guys watching. Hit the like button. Also, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Comment down below your thoughts. I'm sure you guys got some thoughts on this. Let me know about it in the comment section below. Also, turn on those bell notifications and follow me on all my social media accounts. Those links are down below in the description, and we'll see you next time.